Most customers do not know their size, so we establish this through our measuring services. Hello, I'm looking for a navy suit for work. Okay, step this way, sir. Thank you. I'm going to start by showing you a two-button navy suit, but first, can I establish your chest size? Absolutely. Okay, I'm just going to place the tape measure under your arm and across the front of your chest, okay? And you're going to be a 36-inch jacket, sir. Right. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm just going to ask you to try this on very quickly for me. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, if I can just ask you to stand square and face the mirror, sir. Perfect. Okay, we're looking for three or four key things when fitting the suit. Firstly, we should have half an inch excess in the front of the suit. That allows you to see the curvature of the jacket and the silhouette. If the jacket were pulling across the centre button, it would be an indication of the jacket being too small. And if the space in the front was bigger than half an inch, then you would have a jacket that, that looked more square and unstructured, okay? Right. So the half an inch enables you to see the curvature here. Okay. Secondly, we're looking at the lapel. It should lie nice and flat. And if it were bowing, it would be an indication that it isn't accommodating the chest properly, yeah. okay? The shoulder should have a quarter of an inch only, and the shoulder seam should sit in the correct place right. any more than that then the shoulder starts to collapse when wearing okay. with regards to the cuff you should have the jacket sitting where the hand meets the wrist yeah. and having the uh, thumb line open at all times okay now establishing the correct length for you as we do three jacket lengths sir right. we're looking to use the rule of thumb you extend your arm and the thumb and the jacket should meet at the tip of the thumb, which is an indication that you're in the co correct length. Now, sometimes the arm length um, challenges this whole fitting. So if you turn around to the side, sitting where the vents are, the jacket should sit where the buttock line stops and the upper leg starts to drop, okay? I can just have you face the mirror. Excellent. Okay, I'm just gonna remove the jacket for you, sir. When establishing waist size, we use the six inch drop, which is subtracting six inches from the chest, giving you the trouser waist size. Once the waist has been established, our trousers are unfinished, so we pin them, measure them, finalizing the fitting. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, I'd like you to just stand square facing the mirror for me, please. Now we're about to establish your waist size. We're looking for a half an inch excess with the waist, or alternatively, inserting three fingers is a way of depicting the right size, okay? I'm just gonna give you a belt, sir. There we are, if we pop that on. You're currently in a 30 inch waist trouser. Now, as the jacket was a 36 chest, suiting works on a six drop, so if you subtract the six, it gives you the appropriate waist size, okay? Perfect. Now once you fasten the belt, I need you to ensure that the trouser height is correct as we're about to amend the length for you. Does that feel comfortable? Absolutely. Perfect. Okay, just remain square standing, sir. Okay, so with regards to the trouser length, it's very important that we have a single break just as the fabric hits the bridge of the shoe. Okay, now if you turn round to the side, sir. Now it's also very important that the fabric sits just on the top of the heel. Okay, so if you would like to face the mirror again for me. Perfect. There you are, sir. That's your suit fitting complete. Thank you. There's nothing worse than having trousers that are badly creased. Even if your jacket is pristine, uh, having scruffy trousers is going to make you look completely dishevelled. It's really easy and simple to press your trousers. A lot of people are scared of it because they think that they're going to put some shine in. But the thing to remember is that we iron shirts, but we press trousers and it's that pressing motion that's the important part.
uh, to avoid the shine. If you got caught in the rain, for instance, and your trousers have completely lost their uh, crease, uh, we'll need to find out where to put that crease back in. So, first thing to do is to lay your trousers on good sized ironing board and you need a good uh, steam iron just as we did with shirts with, with quite a, a punch of steam and the first thing to do is to find the center crease in the front and to do that we need to match up the seams the inseams lay them on top of each other and that gives you the position for the crease just mark that in at the bottom and then we'll go to the top and we need to get inside the trouser and find the seams at the top just match those up and mark that in as well now if you've got a flat front trouser you need to stop the crease about six inches that's about 18 centimeters from the waistband but if you've got a pleated trouser um, you'll find that you can run the pleat the crease right into the pleat and if you've got two pleats on the trouser it will always be the first pleat but these are flat fronted trousers so we're going to stop the crease about six inches before the waistband so we've marked the top and the bottom Then laying the trouser flat, we'll press in that crease. And remember to press and not iron. And when we get to the top, it's a good idea just to pull the pocket bag back otherwise you're going to get impressions of the pocket bag when you press on top of it. We always set the front crease first. Once that's in position, then we can lay the trouser flat and press in the back crease. And then once you've done the front and the back crease, we can just gently go over the centre of the trouser to get out any unwanted creases. Now, if you are worried about shine, um, what you can do is to use um, a press cloth. I'm using a tea towel here. It's made of linen and ideally you want an old one because you want something that's lint free because you don't want bits of fluff all over your midnight navy suit. So, if you're worried about the shine, just place it in, uh, 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 on the trouser and press over it. You can damp it down with a bit of spray of water to assist. Modern tailors will have uh, a vacuum table that will suck out the moisture uh, and the heat which actually sets in the crease. But 100 years ago, they didn't have that. So they used a different method of uh, getting out the steam and the heat and drying off the cloth. And they used um, what they called a banger. Uh, and I've got a, something that I've improvised here with um, an old, uh, well, actually a new um, floor scrubbing brush. Uh, but it's perfect uh, because it's made of wood, it's unvarnished and um, this is the sort of thing that they would use back in the old days to get a really nice firm crease. And what we do, <coughs> give it a bit of steam and then to get, get the sharp crease we'll bang it in, hold it down and that knocks out the steam and gives you a really sharp crease. So once you've done both sides you need to hang it up for a few hours to let the um, moisture dry out of the trousers uh, and then they're ready to wear.